Hey everyone, welcome back to Global Ecology. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the ecosystems of the Earth. Biomes are the most basic unit that ecologists use to describe global patterns of ecosystems. Biomes are the most important structures for organizing and understanding of how the world's major terrestrial ecosystems differ from one another, and they are also very important for monitoring change in these ecosystems. Historically, biomes had been identified and mapped based on general differences in vegetation type associated with regional variations in climate. The most well-known type of ecosystems or biomes are the tundra. It's located between the Arctic and the polar cap in North America. It might be also located in north of Europe and Siberia. It has an area of 7.43 million square kilometers. It has an area without trees, almost always frozen, with a short layer that thaws into summer period of little thickness, which allows the life of mosses, herbs, and some small shrubs, as well as reindeer, polar bears, wolves, migratory birds, among other species. Now moving on, we also have forests. They represent almost 40 million square kilometers, of which 12 million square kilometers are tropical forests. This biome is classified into Northern Coniferous Forests. They are basically located south of the tundra in America, Asia, and Europe. Some species you might see in these are fir, pines, and some other similar species to this tree. We also have the coniferous forest with a rainy climate. It is located to the south of the previous one and it presents higher temperatures and humidity. Some species that inhabit this biome are the bear, deer, and a variety of pines. There is also the deciduous forest. These type of forests are located in Europe, North, and South America. Some characteristic species are maples, oaks, as well as deer, bears, squirrels, foxes, and woodpeckers. Another really important ecosystems are the prairies. They cover an area of 27.43 million square kilometers. They are all dominated by grasses. The African savannas are the best known to grasses. The species that you may find in these type of biomes are lions, leopards, zebras, hippos, among others. Now moving on, we have shrublands. This type of ecosystem has an area of 12.12 .12 million square kilometers. It's characterized by abundant rains and very dry seasons, with trees and bushes with thick permanent leaves. The characteristic species of these areas are deer, rabbit, and various types of birds. And the last ecosystem we're going to talk about are deserts. They cover a space of 15.57 million square kilometers. These are old regions with very low annual rainfall and sparse vegetation, which include cacti and other plants adapted to the severe conditions. Sahara and Atacama are examples of well-known deserts. Some species of deserts are camels, scorpions, rattlesnake, dingoes, and Australian kangaroos. Now, the 75% of the Earth's surface shows evidence of human alteration, a product of inhabiting or using the land, while natural biomes occupy only one quarter of the Earth's surface, the anthropogenic biomes approach has been proposed. Now, let's take a closer look. An estimated 40% of the world's population lives in dense settlements, another 40% in village, 50% on farmlands, and 5% on the grasslands, while less than 1% live in forest biomes. Now, there is no doubt that human beings are leaving a deep mark on ecosystems, which is expressed from local scales to a planetary scale. The study of biomes allows us to understand the impact of human activity, such as land use and its changes over time, the dynamics of ecosystems in spatial settings and future changes, such as climate change. So thank you guys for listening to our podcast. Don't forget to follow us so you won't miss any other episode.